Hello, it's Zubuka, and today I am show, or I'm at least trying to show you how to make your own mini games in your tribe house. So, as you can see, now I'm a shaman on the uh, tribe house map. I'm just going to show you something. So, just going to start a new map, and now when I just press a button. Tada, I become a shaman. So that is what I'm going to teach you today. Just the very very basics of making mini games and transformers. So yeah, let's go. So the first thing you will have to do is you will have to have a thousand cheese, I think. You can't ever have been banned for hacking. And uh, you must have the ability to do slash NP and then the map code in your tribe house. So yeah, let's start. So what you first do is you write slash Lua. So just slash L U A. So that will bring up this mysterious looking thing here. And here is where you will enter your code. So if you don't know, Lua is a programming language. So I know of no programming, but in programming you write a lot of text and you tell the computer what to do and then the computer will do it for you. So here we will write text and tell Transformers what we want it to do and then it will do it for us. So first um, first thing we will need to do is we will need to make it listen to our keyboard so that when we press a button something will actually happen. So therefore we have a nice little method or function here. So just write this. You can search up all of these things on the internet. I'm probably going to leave a link to the Transformers forum. There's a thread under an, the announcement subforums called Lua documentation, where you can see all of the different things you can do, and all of the different things. But now I'm just going to do this. So tfm.exec. That's just plain boring stuff that you have to include, and then write bind keyboard. It's really important that you capitalize just as I do since in programming everything needs to be perfect. It, if you don't do it perfect it will not work. And then this thing needs four things inside its parameters. So four things. The first one is the name of who we want it to um, who we want it to listen to the events of. And in this case, I'm going to write Ulbuka. And it's really important that you include those, uh, uh, I know what their name, but you need to include this because Ulbuka is a string variable. String is just um, a, li a line of text, if you didn't know that for before. So you have to include those since Ulbuka is a name, you will have to include those. So the next thing we will need to know is um, what key is it going to listen to. So I am going to write 45 since I know that's the key code for uh, insert. But just if you don't know the key code, just Google Lua key codes or something, and it will give you a nice chart of uh, different codes. Then the next one is. Um, if it's going to listen to when you press it down, and since we want it, then just write that as true. You can also write that as false, but then writing the entire thing would be kind of pointless. And then also another true, because that is if if it's going to um, if it just said boolean yes in the documentation. So I'm not really sure what that even does, but just write this true it's yeah just do that so and then the next thing now we're going to make where the magic happens so for this we got to declare to transformize that now we're going to write a function so in this function we are going to listen to when when I now press the keyboard is going to listen to what key I pressed and then it is going to um, yeah then it's going to do something that I tell it to do. So then I write function event keyboard and then name or then we have to 
since this is a function, when I click the event keyboard, it will gather four pieces of information for me. It will gather the name of the person that did the that pressed the keyboard. It will, or actually five. It will um, gather uh, the. It will gather the key, like what key on the keyboard I pressed. It will, um, and then just if I pressed it down. So, yeah, and then it will uh, gather my x coordinate when I press the key on the keyboard and my y coordinate when I press the key on my keyboard. So, yeah, pretty. Easy. And then we then now we have to declare variables where we can store this information. So. For the name, I'm just going to store it in the variable name. The key, I'm just going to store in the variable key. And then down and down, x and x, and y coordinate and y. So pretty simple that. So now we have all of that saved. So then the next thing we would do is if, just now we're telling the computer, if the key equals equals and then 45 since we that that is actually the only key we're listening for so um, we don't really need this line but it's a good thing just to show you so if key equals equals 45 you gotta write equals equals because if not this when you write equals equals it will check if it's equal if you just write one equal sign it will assign that key equals 45 so then the variable key would store 45 as its new op as its new variable inside it so if key equals equals 30 no 45 and then you just write then so then what will it do so for this i'm going to tfm dot exec x as you can see it's the same thing as up there exec dot set shaman and also, as you can see here, uh, key, you remember, that was the variable we set here. So, if the key equals equals 45. So, the key that we got when we, um, when we uh, pressed the keyboard. So, yeah, just trying to explain that. And now, set shaman. And this requires only one thing inside, inside its uh, parameters or whatever. Um, and that is the name. So I could just simply write Ud, uh, Ud Buka. And that was the wrong sign also. I know why I write those, but uh, but that would mean even if this guy over here, Firejack, was to press the button, I would still become the Shaman. Even though he can't press the button since I haven't assigned a, list, a key listener to him. but. If I were to include more in this program, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write name. Then we already got that from here. So now the person that clicks the keyboard, even so, even if Firejack would have clicked the keyboard, he would have become the shaman and not me. So that is then dependent on who clicked the keyboard, and that is pretty important for that. And also, uh, notice how I now don't need these things here now I don't need them anymore and that is um, that is also pretty important since now this is a variable and not a string or this it is a string but or well it's not it, now it's just a variable that includes a string so inside name now since I'm going to press it inside name is this or Firejack if he was to uh, click the button. So now if you have a variable that can change unlike Udbuka, which will always stay Udbuka, then um, then you write it without these things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will just write end since this is the end of uh, the if of this. So if I had written something below here it would do it even if the key was something else than 45. Then I will also put an end to this function. So if I wrote something under here, it would do it even if the keyboard had not been pressed. So yeah, 
let's try and see if it works. So let's. Yeah. No. Um, it seems like I did something wrong. So just click here again. Um, what is wrong? See here. I missed an B, I think. Um, yeah, I think that was the problem. So, as you can see, it's really important that you write everything correctly. And now, I'll try and press the insert. Magic, it worked. So, yeah, if you just copy what I did, you will have a working program in your tribe house that will make you the shaman when you press the insert button. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about this, I can like show you since as you can see now the shaman is name is nothing and there's a lot of cool stuff we can do with this. We can create big mini games if we have the patience and time and yeah so if you like this video and you want me to make more of these then just um, leave it in the comments and if it's something specific that you want me to show you then uh, please tell me that too. So yeah I'll see you later.